it's official starting the road trip right now i took everything out of the armoire and put it in the back just to try and shift some of the weight toward the back because taking a nose dive a little bit because all my heavy stuff is toward the front of the trailer look how high the back is off the ground as opposed to the front this could be an issue i can't believe i'm saying this but it is the perfect weather day here in florida there's just a little breeze no humidity and there's lots of sunshine so i'm able to charge my little jackery right here and my big jackery is plugged into the fridge i'm able to charge it with these two solar panels this is like perfect day in van life perfect weather day florida with the perfect weather day stop it stop it right now okay so it's almost breakfast time we've got a lot of sunshine so i may or may not have put my eggs and sausage out in the sun to warm up because i need to get propane and lord knows i don't want to use a propane burger so lukewarm eggs and sausage for breakfast it is Mmm, mmm. The breakfast of van life champions. Mmm, it's great. Tastes like if I forgot it in the microwave for like six minutes. It's just got a little plastic undertone, but other than that, it just tastes normal. It's not that great. I, I probably won't be doing that again. Vitamins, yes please. I got my vagina probiotics. It's gonna be a good day. Just because I live in a damn vehicle doesn't mean I need to neglect my vaginal health. Thank you very much. The fly likes it. So put everything here for now as a temporary solution. I need to get a, what's it called? A, one of those hitches. I forget what the hitch is called. I'm just going through making sure I have everything locked and put away so it doesn't slide all over the place and cause breakages of all my shit and issues. The main thing I want to remember is to clip these closed. I really should make a to-do list of everything I need to take down. Ooh, that actually was sticking. I put some of the, the goop on it yesterday. That's gonna go on the floor for now. This will be put away. This will just go on the floor for now. Take these down. I mean, there's a lot more stuff hanging in this van build than there was in my previous one. What else? Oh, let me finish clipping because the clipping is very important. That goes here. And then now where did I put my coffee mug? I think I put my coffee mugs away. Pretty sure I put them in here. Yes. Let me double check. Yeah, I put them right here and here. So that's good. Just make sure everything's kind of stuck in its spot. This area looks pretty good. Obviously, I'm gonna put my computer away. Guitars. Guitars need a lot of love. They need, they need lots of pillows. Here we go. We'll just make a little bed for our guitars. That is how much we love them. This goes here. And this actually fell down the other day when I was driving. So take it down, put it in a safe spot, down the cars without destroying our ceiling. This isn't making me feel too great. I need like a little guitar pocket. I feel like that's gonna slip and slide everywhere. I should probably put them in their cases. It just sounds like a lot of work right now. Or maybe I have to put it in bed mode from now on. Maybe this can be the little ukulele pocket. Here we go. That's nice. And that's nice too. I'm hoping that's gonna be okay. Wishing and hoping and thinking and praying. Planning and dreaming. Here, I'll give you, give you a little padding right there. This thing should be okay. These things, make sure they're on their sticky pad. That's pretty okay. Ceiling, just, I mean, fall down, go ahead. Just do it, do you boo, you do you. This is pretty pretty well stuck and then I also want to have a little blanket for my microphone because it always falls down I'm going to tuck you in this is my sleeping pillow my gems are okay it looks like let's check that's good that's good that's good that's good I'm gonna put this away I just uploaded a 30 minute video what the hatch doesn't need to be up and then when i stop uh, i'll probably just sleep on the couch i won't put it in bed mode because i'm only, i want to keep until i get the equalizer hitch this will be my oh, we're driving long distances set up it's an equalizer hitch that's what it's called are you good i think you're okay right you're fine my leggings under your neck so you have a little pillow you're welcome this thing i'm a little concerned about i'm concerned about it just <laughs> flopping over especially because the trailer is tilted this way it's time to hit the road i'm gonna do one more once over because i don't want to come back into anything falling over i've checked the back i think we're good what i'm gonna do is check the hitch oh and make sure i lock up the back there's so much to check on this trailer build before i can even leave oh the sunset so pretty 
very pretty. Today was the most beautiful day I've had in a long time. Florida coming in with the wind. I was very surprised because the weather's been so shysty lately. Jackery goes under the seat so I can charge it and keep the fridge plugged in. Booch for the road. Is there a booch for the road? Yes, go. I'm very happy I checked because I forgot earlier. Everything's good to go, but I put this down for a little more stability. Maybe there's too much weight in the back of the Suburban. I'm not entirely sure. Chain is dragging a little too much for my liking. Look how much rust is on this already. Jesus, Lord. Is that normal? Like, I don't know what to compare it to, but that doesn't seem normal. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I almost forgot to do. I almost forgot to latch the back door. Imagine me driving down the freeway looking a hot mess. Okay. And, okay. I need a checklist. I really, seriously gonna make myself a spreadsheet. One more glance over in here. We good, guys. Pepper spray, you okay? I hope this doesn't tip over. Put it on the rock. Tried to shift the weight to the back. I mean, I don't even know if that's necessary. Let's take a look. Truly don't think that helped at all. I wonder if it's the Suburban, because the Suburban's kind of low riding in the back. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to drive slow. Slow and steady. Double check, this is locked. This is up, we're plugged into the brakes. We've got one, two chains. We've got this in case we lose our trailer. This is connected to the breakaway system, so it'll turn on the brakes. I'm gonna check my brake app, and let's get on the road, honey. I'm gonna plug in not one, but two jackeries, because we need them charging while we be driving. This car has so many cigarette lighters. There's three in the front. There's one in the council right here, and there's one in the very, very back. Let's see how many watts we're pulling here. That's in. Fridge is charging. And then this goes in here. Got 79 watts there. Zero watts. Interesting. Oh no, now it's going. It's going up to 70 watts. Yeah, this is gonna work really well. I can charge both Jeffries at once. Whew. There's so much to think about. I'm not gonna be traveling as much this year. I know I'm gonna wanna park this thing, keep the trailer set up, and then just cruise around town in the Suburban because it's a lot to get up and going. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to check. There's a lot to plug in. Um, I have to, I don't know, just a lot to think about. So I'm gonna go find a great place to park for the next week and I'll be back with you. Nashville is high of 50 and low of 46. How's that possible for the next week? That sounds pretty perfect to me. So the neighbor again is going to help me. I guess this is very dangerous to drive on. So he said he would help me tomorrow, but what he said is you can invert this and flip it upside down. So the ball is like actually up here instead because he said this is really dangerous. I'm going to try and do it myself. I think I can unhitch. Do I just wait till tomorrow? Like, is this silly? He said he could help me after 9 a.m. Can you see what it looks like? It's just, even when I put all the weight in the back, I'm gonna try and do it and maybe I'll have him check my work. I don't know, I really was excited to get on the road just now. I had a kombucha ready to go and everything. My brains are fried after this build. I haven't shaved my armpits in a long time. <laughs> Please send a couple. Okay. This guy looks like he knows what he's talking about. He has like three really well-maintained semis in his yard. I'm gonna take this pin out and flip it. So I'm gonna pull forward a bit. Pin out, take this out. I mean, this part's easy probably, but it's flipped. But I need to figure out how to get this detached and then put it on top. So I'm gonna go look at my brother's garage. I don't know if these are gonna be big enough, but I'm gonna try. But that already looks so much better just having it up like that. I just hope it doesn't make it too high. I know how to do it. I just don't know if I'm strong enough to do it. Need a wrench of some kind. This is not the right kind. It's just barely too small. Well, the good news about my hitch needing to be flipped is that I can put all this stuff away. I'll be able to like access my bed while I'm traveling and that will be a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie to have to take all that out and put it back every time. I have a feeling too, like most of the weight in my van is on this side, probably because of the door. Just do what I can. So we're gonna try this again tomorrow. I am hoping to get on the road. We'll see. Just like that, 
ready for the road. Cabinets are locked. There is no open coffee containers on the counter. Instruments are on the bed. So thank God I don't need to take everything out of the armoire and put it back here for weight purposes. He fixed it by flipping the hitch upside down, unscrewing the ball and putting it on the other side. The only thing is he helped me hitch it up and he had to stand on the back of the Suburban to get it low enough to get the hitch underneath. So I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do that all by myself. Just keep the Suburban hitched up until I really get to my location and, and phone a friend. Life alert, I'm gonna do one more once over off camera so I can really focus. <laughs> don't wanna break all my shit. It's my first time driving on the highway with a trailer. Holy shit, on a Saturday? I'm scared. Siri, take me to Nashville. Oh my God, the brakes are not working right. Last night I took the trailer out and the brakes were working fine. They're working great. And now they're like, urch, and then they let off, urch. And I'm trying to adjust the sensitivity, like as I'm driving, so I'm gonna pull off and figure it out. It also kind of feels like the trailer brakes are always on right now. Like I feel like the brakes are on while I'm driving. 78 East, Northeast Dude, Pine Island Road. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to fix my brakes. All right, well, I'm gonna get gas. Ooh, this is different. Like, I have to get close enough so my Suburban can reach, but far enough away so my trailer doesn't ding anything. I think I'm gonna unplug the trailer brake thing and plug it back in. There's something funky going on. I have the same app settings I had yesterday. Maybe every time you plug it in, you have to re... Reset it? I don't know. What I do know is this is a big old pain in the dick. I do know that. We're plugged back in. Well, it definitely smells like burning back here. So I have a feeling the brakes were like activated that whole time because I was trying to drive and it was feeling very, like it was dragging big time. It smells like burning. I hope I didn't ruin my brakes. What the fuck? Also, why does my tire look like it's bent to the side? It's not look right. It not look right at all. It definitely feels like they're working better now. I haven't really gone too far yet, but. So whenever I unhitch and remove the brake sensor, I need to reformat it on the app. I need to hold down the brake thing, activate brakes. No, it feels weird now. Why are you feeling so weird, trailer? Okay, I just want to write multiple songs about ex-boyfriends and win multiple awards for it. Supposed to do a U-turn there. We're not doing that. Mm -mm, no, we're not. Why does my tire look bent? Like it looks a little iffy. Maybe because all of the weight in my entire trailer is on the left side. Well, the brakes seem to be working now. So we've got that going for us. We have brakes. Dear G Ma and G Pa, help me get safe to Nashville. I really miss going 85. That is something I miss in life. Safety first, people. Safety always first. I used to be in the left lane club. Now I'm in the right lane club. I don't like it. Good thing those brakes be working. And we're stopped on the freeway. I might just like park it here. Go out to my trailer, make a tea, take a nap. You are in an 11 minute slowdown. You are on the fastest route. You will arrive at 9.34 p.m. Thank you so much, Siri. You are so helpful. Pulling over to get gas. I don't know how I'm getting out of here. Looks pretty, pretty tight. So finding bigger gas stations is probably going to be a better choice for me. Plus I'm blocking everybody trying to exit. I don't know where this person is. They're probably buying blow pops for their unappreciative children. Check the wheels. Make a nice, Jesus wide turn here we go this isn't actually as hard as i was thinking it was gonna be oh fuck there's like a literal trailer right here traffic jam while we're stuck i'm gonna go check inside all right just stepping in for a sec everything looks kosher except for oh except for ceiling tile Okay, we're good. Today we are practicing our patience. We're gonna have to wait, not only for them to pull up, but to like fill up as well. Cause I don't think I'll be able to get through. He's got a like hella jackknife right now. Do I dare try and back up? No, there's two cops behind me. I know what I'll do. I'll upload my song a day to TikTok. I miss my zippy little Prius where you can just do U-turn any old place. We have to do four right turns to make a left turn. It's 
good times. It's real good times. Get me the f out of Florida. I hate Florida with so many passions. I have many passions. Songwriting, making videos, but most of all, hating on Florida. Do not day old Chipotle and drive. Do not do it. DOC is distracted driving. Just so you know. No idea where I'm at. No idea if it's safe. I'm two hours away from my destination and my car is not working. So yeah, that happened. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Check back tomorrow to see the shit storm that is my life. Yes, my car did break down. And if you made it this far in the video, I want you to guess how many hours I drove before my car broke down. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.